Welcome to Colombia, Sustainable Colombia. Welcome, wonderful people all over the world. My name is Frank, I'm Swiss and I came to Colombia in 2015 and I run a travel agency here in Bogota. And I present you, some of you already know her, this is Sarah. She's the director of the brand Sula. We actually have three brands and the nature and bird watching brand is led by her. And Sarah, she's a biologist. She made her undergraduate here in Colombia at the best university, La Nacional, La <laughs> yes. Nacho. Uh -huh. And then she went to Brazil for her master's and her PhD. So you see, we have really a very competent uh, person in the field for all nature tourism. And we are going to start a series with more frank talks and we will talk many topics about nature, sustainability, everything which is in, in that bucket. Also, we have a brand new studio, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> it's actually the parking lot of my building. And here we are outside, open air. So with the social distancing, you can see, we have uh, the required distance so we can have uh, the talks without the face mask. And this is very important. And also a little side note, um, the website Belaganus is brand new in design. We're now publishing content, also the website of Sula. We are publishing lots of content. Sarah is writing like uh, <laughs> a lot. She's writing a lot. The links you will find down in the description section. Check out the websites. If you have any feedbacks, write them down in the comments. We are more than happy to receive your feedback. Now we are going to start the sustainability of uh, traveling to Colombia. And I have some figures about tourism, which are important, but I need to access my notes. So in 2017, we had 1.32 billion tourists worldwide. Colombia, about 4 million. So very, very small number. And tourism counts also for 10% of the global GDP. And the question will also be what can we do or what should we do with the cash flow that is coming for, from the foreign tourism in, in Colombia. So I hand over to Sarah. You can uh, <laughs> explain us about the sustainability and sustainable travel in, in Colombia. And then I will from time to time ask a silly question. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> So thank you, Frank, for your introduction. Um, well, I have a very good news for Colombia and sustainability. We have for the very first time the first uh, law uh, in sustainable tourism. It was launched on December 2020 and uh, it has uh, envisioned a set of goals uh, until 2030. So nowadays for the first time the government of Colombia is compromised for real with the sustainable um, process of uh, this country and it started with tourism and uh, we are happy to see that uh, one of the biggest components of this policy is nature and environment. And besides nature uh, and environment we have uh, a compromise with the local economies. So this is going to be a policy that will um, take all the picture in, from tourism. So the commitment of the government is to focus the tourism on more nature, tourism and sustainable ways. Yes, and not only nature, but in general, Usually the most common uh, factor associated with sustainability is environment, but there are other components that are social, economical, so uh, those are uh, components that now are very clear and integrated with the environmental part. So it's not only environment, but people and uh, economic development. 
So I guess the, the government is taking some measures and starting some initiatives. So where will we go in Colombian tourism? Yes, well, I will check also my notes <laughs> because the, it's a lot. Um, first of all, this plan, because this is a plan, is composed of six strategies uh, related with all of those topics that I mentioned and 14 programs, 32 projects, and 140 policy actions. This is a plan that has to be developed in the next 10 years. So the main guideline of this plan uh, of the government is the, the reduction of greenhouse em gas emissions, the efficient use and management of energy, and the investment in renewable and non-conventional energy sources, uh, the responsible management of solid waste, the saving and efficient use of water, uh, the adequate wastewater treatment, and finally, and the most important <laughs> for me at least, is the protection of the country's biodiversity and ecosystem richness. So this plan is going to be built around this strategy. So people are coming to Colombia and they will produce a big carbon footprint We take an international flight. Mm -hmm. But how will they actually help the environment with coming to Colombia? So yes, people coming from abroad with such a strong carbon footprint bring it, bring brought by the flights uh, yes, that makes you wonder how these people is helping. But they help us a lot, principally to conserve our national biodiversity, because unfortunately, since the assignment of the peace processes, many territories are open, not only for tourism, but for logging, cattle, mining, uh, illegal crops. So we are... Uh, on a bet on tourism to help local people to choose a better way of living. So in this way, people who is coming here are helping these people, these local people, uh, for a living and also to be uh, more uh, compromised with the protection of our environmental richness. So that's the main uh, contribution of international foreigners when they come to Colombia for a nature trip. So let's, let's make some two real life examples. Um, what we can see in the Paramos, and the Paramos are like unique environments that only exist in, in a handful of countries. And local farmers, they invade those Paramos, which are the main water source actually of Colombia. And local farmers, they invading, cutting down those uh, frailejones because they want to expand their space to raise cattle. So how can tourism avoid that? Yes, Frank, uh, I agree with you. Not only cattle, but potato has been one of the main reasons why um, local farmers expanded through the Paramos because they have good soils and good temperature for this kind of plantation. Uh, and mining is also an interest in uh, over Paramos. But uh, with the nature tourism, we have other economic income and local farmers have becoming local tourist guides of the Paramo and they are starting to realize how important uh, tourism is for development and also uh, they found a reason to conserve and preserve these areas. So that's a good example of how uh, nature tourism is helping the Paramos. N it's not all resolved. Uh, I mean, uh, they also have, for example, chickens and they fight a lot with the uh, uh, eagles of the Paramos or they even don't like the Andean bird. But with the time, they are starting to understand the role of these species in their regions and starting to protect them. So, yes. And then we also have like bad news from one of the biggest and most important national parks, Chiribiquete. 
there was uh, uh, quite big damage in the last time, in the last year, through to deforestation. So how can tourism help a big national park like that? Chiribiquete is a sad example of what happened after the peace process because this is one of the first places that opened up to the world. And even if it is a park with a clear uh, limit, uh, many people is entering the park from the borders and doing a little bit of logging. And I think these people doesn't know the potential of tourism yet. Uh, and the potential is the economic income that it represents. So people is still thinking that uh, logging uh, gives more money than tourism. But the real thing is with well-planned tourism and responsible tourism, we can have uh, the same or bigger profit from from it so and this is the 16th chapel of the world of the natural world so who doesn't want to come to Colombia to know the Chiribiquete and well besides logging uh, there's narco traffic and well that's another battle it's not a secret that Colombia is fighting on that but I think Nature tourism can be also an, an opportunity for local people to try to make new, new businesses. So the potential we identify for sustainable tourism, um, nature tourism in Colombia is that this actually can provide labor for many people. And now uh, people don't see the nature as a potential income source. Just they cut down the trees and the trees are gone. So it's a one time income source but sustainable tourism this will be a, a, a continuous cash flow for local people and but this is very young here in Colombia and needs to be developed and this is what we are also trying to do we traveled to many different regions uh, to identify spots and the nature is in Colombia I mean you maybe saw some other videos we we have from the regions of Colombia and it's almost limitless, the potential we, we face here in Colombia. Mm -hmm. So the potential for this kind of sustainable tourism is huge, but what I think the biggest part that missing is education, that we, uh, the government, and also we as a company, help people to show them that there is a potential. So the plan is also you, potential clients, on the other end, on the other end of the YouTube channel, if you travel to Colombia and we send you to regions where there is only little tourism, people will see you, foreigners, and they will think, why are those people here? And then they will talk to you. And then this is also a part of the process of understanding sustainable tourism, when the locals really see international tourists and hearing it from them. Yes. You remember that time when we were at Huesaco in Nariño, that people were so amazed by the color of your eyes and your <laughs> size and everything because they never saw a Swiss guy in their town. So that was <laughs> experience for them and also for you. And what we want is that this uh, becomes more uh, common in our country, that people get used to visitors because it's still there are some regions, as you said, people don't know how is to see or to <laughs> share <laughs> this space with a foreigner person. So Colombia is ready for you to come to explore the country. There's still lots of work to do, still a lot to improve, but this is an old process. It, it is such a new process that uh, the government also recently published uh, the, a field guide to the guides, to the nature tourism guides of Colombia. This is in Spanish and in English, and it teach local people and foreigners if they are interested in what is to do uh, nature tourism in Colombia and how guidance had to be um, developed 
because yes, we still have a, a small amount of uh, experts and local guides and very good guides in, in nature. So this is a very nice guide. It is in our website if you want to check it. So yes, uh, we are in a good way to offer the best nature tourism in the region and in the world, I think. So also we as a company are involved in the, the process to develop the sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm. what, what did we actually do in the past and what do we do right now? Uh, well, in the past, at the very beginning, well, we are placed in the epicenter of culture in Bogota, which is La Candelaria. So our first steps were uh, being part of the local community who were working together to become a sustainable destination in Bogota. We made it. Nowadays, La Candelaria is a sustainable destination. As a travel agency, uh, we are focused in education and the support of local communities. So with education nowadays, what we are being able to do is that during our travels we give local people advice on how to develop their products and their destinations with the intention that in the future they can be able to sell them and uh, generate incomes for them, their families and their regions. So that's the main uh, sustainable goal we have. In the future we also want to participate in projects related with conservation but for that we need more development and more time. Uh, but in general our local partners and our trips look for the conservation of local species, a good standard in terms of waste or, or recycling so our clients are going to be in lodges with good practices in waste or water uh, resources and also some of our products are directly related with conservation projects for example in Casanare with the moriche palm and the ant bird or in the Pacific region with the investigation of the humpback whale that's how we make it in Pelecanus to help with this sustainable goal. And so that was our topic about sustainability and sustainable travel here in Colombia. I hope you got some valuable information. If you like our channel, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and we say goodbye. And I hope we see you soon here on the channel again or even better here in Colombia. All the rest, bye bye.